Uh, we're getting into a conversation with Pen Plus Bite. Now, all of us here at MG are products of Pen Plus Bite. We're taught how to use ICT, you know, to effectively enhance our journalism work, and it has helped us a great deal. Now, Pen Plus Bite is 18, and I've been joined by um, Juliet Amma, who is executive director at Pen Plus Bite, and also Jerry Sam, who's programs director at Pen Plus Bite. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'll start with you, Jerry. Tell us a little bit about Pen Plus Bite. So um, we've been around since 2001. Mm. Uh, we started very small, and as uh, all organizations, we want to grow. So we've grown. Um, we've moved from just training journalists uh, to enhance their work using digital tools um, to a position now that um, we're developing tools, applications, creating spaces for citizens to influence governance, mm. to be able to have their voices heard on the corridors of power. So the government will design uh, policies that will meet their needs. We're also still working with the media, because the media is still our core constituents. And we train the media uh, to use new skills and trending applications and uh, uh, platforms mm. to enhance reporting, news gathering, news production, uh, publishing as well, and to improve on the oversight over the executive of parliament, and also to be part of the advocacy work of civil society. Right. So in the past, um, we, we have um, stayed behind mm. and empowering citizens, empowering the media uh, to make sure that we actually enjoy the dividends of our democracy. But in recent times, as we've seen, you saw us in the uh, campaign to pass the RTI mm, bill into yeah, law, yeah. we are the forefront of leading the campaign, especially on, on social media. Right. Uh, we worked around other things around social accountability, uh, looking at school feeding program, for instance, looking at LEAP. Um, we're working with Parliament. So we've actually uh, broadened our scope mm. over the years, and we're still impacting uh, society. Juliet, 18 years, how has it been? How's the journey been? How did we get here? It's been exciting, mm. really, really exciting. And just as Jerry was saying, we've kind of repositioned ourselves every uh, four to five years mm. because we believe that a strategy shouldn't be fixed and that as uh, society changes, as the needs of um, um, a country changes, civil society should change with it. And so what we've done is put ourselves in that space, which allows us to look at the developmental challenges that we have in Ghana right. and to um, go about impacting and, and positively intervening and shaping the future, both for civil society and for our country. Jerry, um, can you tell us some of the projects you've embarked on and the ones that you're looking to embark on as uh, Pen Plus by 10 to 18? That's, that's a, a plethora of them. I'm sure we could really <laughs> use the whole of the New Day pro program to talk about our projects. But um, we've, we've always uh, hinged our work around destructive technology. Mm. So you mentioned Pen Plus by 10, a lot of the time, most of the things that people think about is technology and transforming governance. Right. Um, currently, we're working with Parliament. We're trying to open up Parliament, uh, connecting citizens to Parliament using technology. Mm -hmm. um, we also believe in inclusivity in development. So we're doing projects that will let uh, people who are who consider as democratic outsiders, who normally you not hear them uh, contributing to development. So, for instance, we're working with uh, um, people who live with disability, mm. we're working with women, women groups, we're working with the youth, trying to create awareness amongst this group, trying to empower them, create the spaces for them to also be part of it. Right. So we're doing the Deliver project. We're also doing a, a, a program around data journalism. So, for instance, we're doing, we're, we're doing training for media general mm -hmm. uh, journalists. Uh, we're also working with other media groups um, to also take advantage of the skill sets and the knowledge that we have in this area of data journalism to improve uh, uh, the work of um, journalists. Um, we're also doing work uh, with, um, on social accountability, um, looking at uh, um, social protection policies mm -hmm. so that those who are considered poor in the society will know what government has for them in terms of policy so they can take advantage of it. And we're working around health. Um, using the same technology mm. um, so that um, citizens will know their rights when they go to health institutions. Right. And all this, we don't do it um, as one way, we do it in two ways. 
so that we get feedback. Mm. And then we work towards closing that feedback, get a response from government. What is the point of creating all these platforms when it does not make an impact? Right. But then so we rope in government so the government will have an ear on what citizens are saying and also input those uh, things that citizens are saying into their programming. We also have a new one coming called the Media uh, uh, Information Literacy, which um, Juliet is very uh, on top of. And you should tell us you want more. to comment on that, Juliet, before yes, actually, I ask my final question? Yes, actually, we're, we're looking at the whole um, space, the whole media space, and the co-creation that social media has allowed people to do. Right. And we're saying that the campaign should be, actually, rather than wait for governments to start um, hitting back and doing a lot of uh, regulation, mm. as people who use social media, we should probably do self-regulation. And so Pen Plus Byte has gotten into that space, and we're thinking that we should be training people to co-create content responsibly and to look at uh, disinformation, misinformation, and how they're interacting with news content mm. that they're consuming on all the social media platforms. Sorry, we have and limited let time. Just quickly tie into <laughs> what you're saying that okay. elections is coming. Right. And we know about fake news, yes, how it changed yes. the scope. I, I know how active you were in the 2016 election. Correct. So 2020 Since is going, going to be the to, same. Yes, yes. yes, and we're going to be doing an early warning system right. um, to look at the vigilantism uh, 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 area mm. to see how we can prevent it's from influence our election, right. uh, prevent how um, fake news and misinformation is shared on uh, WhatsApp groups and on Facebook mm. and on Twitter and how we can counter it. We'll probably do a joint program with TV3 right to see how we can you know, make sure that people are much more informed on the electoral process sure. so that at the end of the day we'll have a credible election which is accepted by, by all. Juliet, you have the final one. Um, 18 years, what do you want people to know and how can they reach you quickly before you know, we wrap up? We want to, people to know that we're here to stay. We've, we've shown our pedigree. We've done it for 18 years. We are open to partnerships. We're open to new ways of doing things. Mm. As Jerry was saying, we use disruptive technology and we can only get better. That's right. right. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, Juliet and Jerry are both from Pen Plus Bites and Pen Plus Bites is 18. You can reach them on social media 